Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Press Select for Options. options. Oh, yeah. It's the all with the options. Where here we give you all the options. Here are the options. The options select. Options select. Anyway, it's Matt joining you today, along with uh, Jeff. There we go. And we're playing some uh, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012. Say that five times. Gay. Aw. Uh, anyway, let's, let's get the ball rolling. Yes. Thunder thighs versus thunder boobs. Hell yeah. Ain't no pregnant bitches in my club. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright. So we're here. We're queer, get used to it. Anyway, no, I'm just saying. We want to talk a little bit about uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. And what's uh, what to expect with that. Jeffrey? Yeah, so it's Jeffrey. coming out. It's cool, I guess. Whatever. No. So it's gonna be. Uh, I don't. They haven't put a date on it yet, have they? No. No. Nah. So. They they put the price on it though. I think it's oh. gonna be fifteen for the update, and for I know forty for the. No, I don't. Forty for the disc. Forty sounds right. I, I think th those would be the prices. I'm not too sure. Though if you get the disc, you get all the DLC that's coming out so far. So that's a pretty good deal. If you don't have the game, but I'm buying the disc anyway. You would. Yeah, I would. But I would oh my god. Um, uh, the update will also come with five characters, and as we, most of us who keep up with it and don't live under a rock know, uh, they're recycled characters from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Oh, perfect! So, yeah. Um, so you got Hugo, Elena. You got Hugo, Elena, Relento, and Poison right now. No one knows who the fifth character is. I hope it's the Monopoly guy. With his mustache and everything? Yeah. I think it's the chick for Remember Me. I don't know, I just... Unless that game did horribly in sales. It did. Oh, it did? <laughs> oh. No one bought that. Well, then, what time did it come around? I don't know. What time did it come around? Like, like, well, what else was it competing with at the time? Uh... Last of Us? I guess well, that'd, be, that'd be one hell of a game to compete with, at least on the PS3 side. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I thought it was Azura originally. That I wish be. it was, but it's not going to be him or Hagger. That would be Honestly, cool. if Hagger was going to be in the game, I don't know. I feel, I feel like we've got enough Final Fight characters. We need more. We don't need any more. We got everyone in except Hagger, and Hagger's in Marvel, so whatever. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think Hagger would have been cool. It would have been like a little thing with Zangief, but... Yeah, it would have been cool, but you got that alternate for Zangief anyway. So? What does that mean? It means, uh, there you go. So since they have a, a X uh, costume for Zero in Marvel 3, we can't have X in the game? Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Asshole. I don't care about that. Because you don't. So, like, there's a bunch of changes. I don't know what they are. Uh, SRK has posted them on their website. You can look them up yourself. I'll leave a I'll link, in, link it below. Yeah, link it. Uh, leave a description below if you want to look at it. Uh, as I don't know the actual changes, and I don't think Matt does either. Nah. To be honest, I kind of like to just jump into these games. I I look up changes here and there, but like, another thing is Capcom has stated they want to make everyone a viable threat in this now. They're basically. They're, apparently, from what I hear, they're not going to nerf the top tier people. They're going to buff the lower tier people. Make them a much more viable threat. So they're not going to change the high tier too much? Uh, no. Which I think is actually a better move. You know, that way people can't complain. You know, your character's just as good as the other one. That way people can't, oh, you're not using this character enough. We don't see this enough. Like that article that was like, um... Uh, did you read it? The one that's like, oh, well, why can't there be a separate bracket in fighting games for projectile characters versus non-projectiles? That's kind of dumb. I want to, I want my... What? Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, fuck you. So, yeah, like, um, this is, oh, shit, you know what, I'll, uh, if I can find it, I'm going to link it. This article this guy wrote was like, because Evo just passed, and he said there wasn't enough variety. There was too many Ryu and Akumas, which is a lie. Was, wasn't he? Uh, was he also like not into the fighting game scene? That yeah, much? he's not that. I could have sworn that was a Kotaku thing, or was it? No, it's not a Kotaku thing. Kotaku would bring that. They're not that dumb. 
They're dumb, but they're not that dumb. Actually, I think I remember uh, Jeremy, another press select for options. Uh, yeah, he liked the same thing I did, because um, someone, someone on Facebook, we were both mutual friends with, uh, posted that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I remember, I remember looking over that. Um, so that article was total bullshit, because he just bitched that, uh, he bitched about projectile characters and how much uh, spam and stuff, but if you actually get into the fighting games and shit... Oh, crap. Oh, oh shit. Oh! If, if you actually get into fighting games and stuff, uh, there's a lot more to the metagame than meets the eye. To the average player, you just see someone shoot like well, last four, year, uh, what, four Hadoukens across the screen. It's people. called spacing. Yeah, spacing. I mean, every game's got their wording and stuff. I mean, last year, freaking a C Viper player what, came in second. Yeah. And C Viper has technically no projectiles. So I don't want to hear that. Her body. Her body is projectiles. Um, That's why she has bitches. And stages. let's not forget who won Evo this year again. Oh, you won again? Again. Oh, again. Oh, again. Again won. Oh, I thought you were talking about the guy from last year. I was like, oh. Hmm. No. Um, also, don't forget uh, Takedo, I think his name is. He used the con. Against Power. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did really good. So, you know, for people complaining about projectiles and stuff, shut up, because you don't know what you're talking about. It's all about the player, really, not about the character. Like, for instance, right here, Matthews and Makoto. Makoto got no projectiles, but herself. But herself. I have a projectile character, but as you can see, this particular character doesn't rely too heavily on fireballs. More rush down, if anything. At least I think so. So, um, yeah, I don't know. You know. People complain about that sort of thing. Fighting games. A lot of people don't know what they're talking about either. Oh, you're gonna get that here and there when it comes to stuff like that. Well, this is, I think I brought this up the other day. I mean, if it's boring for you to watch, you're not gonna like it. You know? Like, I don't watch... I don't watch, uh, golf. League. <laughs> I don't watch golf or League of Legends or something like that, you know? I mean, it's something that doesn't interest me. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop hitting me. Stop. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it, you know, it's, it's pretty stupid to complain about that stuff. So, the recycled characters... Um, this is another thing people, some people have been complaining about. I could care less about more characters, the better. And just because they're recycled doesn't mean Capcom doesn't have to work on them. You know, I was watching Screw Attack, uh, Screw Attack's interview with Seth Killian. And Seth was like, you know, it's not the most sexy thing in the world, balance changes, but it is something that does need to happen, you know. People might not be, people might be like, oh, they're reusing stuff, but... Capcom still, they, they still gotta balance stuff out. It takes a while. You don't just release a game. You know what? No, they're gonna play exactly like you do when you shoot across tech and <laughs> Light punch, shoot, medium punch, high shooting punch. Shooting them up in the air 50 in, feet. Into another high punch that launches them. But, the, you know, this is something probably also Ma like someone like Maximilian would talk about. Like, uh, you know, balances and stuff, but no one would really... Not a lot of... Uh, people who aren't interested in this stuff won't actually listen to. You know, it's like, uh, it's like, remember, people complain about how some people complain about Taker's damage is broken and crap is one grab. You know, people complain about that. Don't look at me. No, yeah, I at, am. Look at, look at me harder. I'm looking at you pretty hard because you complain about it. Mr. Mr. One, one grab. Uh, but you comeback. know why Taker does so much damage. Because he's the bestest character ever. He's, I mean, in this version, he's not the worst character, but he's still not that good. He's too slow. His hitbox is huge. A lot of his moves come out way too slow. You know, it's it's just how it, it's just how it is with Taker. Well, grappler characters always had a high damage output. Yeah. When they're well, it's because they got to get point. in. Yeah, that's they have point, to work though. for it. Grapplers especially have to work for it. But the good thing about Taker and Blaze Blue, of course, is the magnetism. So, um, well, even at the mag even with the magnetism, you still kind of got to get in there. You know, the magnetism only helps so much. Helps me enough. No, I'm saying in general, like, you still, like, you can't expect it just to bring them to you. Ah, oh, yeah. Not to mention only certain moves, like, activate the magnetism. So, okay. I feel like with Street Fighter's, um, with Street Fighter right now, I feel like it's in a good spot, for the most part. You know, it's in the public's eye. People are playing it a lot. It's pretty fun. It looks nice. Even though some people disagree on the art style, I think it's, it's not a bad pick. 
I like the art style. Yeah, no. It's, it's mean, something I really call my eye. A lot of people complain out. about it when it came out, you know. So the mysterious fifth character. We were talking about that just a little bit. Uh, I you know I said Azura originally when I first heard it, but that was because of the DLC that came out with Azura's Wrath. If anyone doesn't know, um, you got the verse Ryu and Akuma on the moon. It was pretty sweet. The verse Evil Ryu and Aku and uh, Omi and Oni. Ryu's like, oh look, I'm teleported to another world again. It's like a sick. Aku what was really cool in that is Akuma kicked him so hard into another dimension. Who Ryu? Yeah. And after the fight with him? After the fight with Azura. Akuma just comes out of nowhere. He's like, yeah, no, he does. He co he's like, oh, I'm the strongest. And it kicks Ryu and out into another dimension. So that's how he gets around. Didn't you, wait, weren't you watching it when I streamed it? Yeah, I missed that part. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> great. He just like, uh, you, uh, Ryu goes from being evil Ryu to regular Ryu after Azura beats him. He's like, oh, and then they're breathing, you know, on the moon. Yeah. Ryu's breathing on the moon or whatever, I guess. Just on the moon. Well, obviously when you know Shoto, uh, so, not anything's um, possible. Uh, after the fight, Akuma's like, oh, I'm the strongest. Comes down, kicks Ryu so hard in the stomach, he gets blasted in the space. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was, I just, because if, um, anyone looks it up, I might put that in the description too, um, is that when you're playing, when you're playing the DLC, it is, it's like playing a Street Fighter 4 match. I mean, it's not well, the first part. Yeah, it's not the first part of both of the fights are with uh, with Ryu and uh, with Akuma. And then you hit Ryu in the nuts, and he makes that weird face. <laughs> yeah, that's so actually weird. the funny thing is when you're uh, when you're using evil, well, not using when you're versing evil Ryu. If you let him do a certain if a certain move happens, he'll actually because um, the moon cracks in the game at one point. Mm -hmm. He actually puts the moon back together with your face by punching it into the moon. And the moon is forces, so I, well, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's yes. why I thought Azura was in it. People were calling Hagar, Hagar, whatever. Um, Matt over here is like, remember me, chick. What's her name? Nylon or something. Nylon like that. is that his name? Yeah. I, well, she has a spinning bird kick, the dragon punch. Yeah, but that was kick. DLC. Yeah, but still, she kind of has it. Um. Give her a doke. <laughs> Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know who to call actually in this because it's going to be a character that's never been in Street Fighter before. So, so Sonic, the Hedgehog. Maybe, it, maybe it's a new character, like an, an original character. The original of the character. Uh huh. The, it's going to be the clown. I'm telling you. It's going to be who? The clown. The clown. That was Shut up about the clown. <laughs> it's not going to be the fucking clown. He was like, no, I'm not talking about that other guy. Did watch the damn documentary. He, he said they were planning on putting that clown in there. It was like those rejected like ideas or whatever like that for Street Fighter 4. <laughs> there was also the Baz. Whatever. Um But yeah, that's what, I, no, the, the, the clown. Um it's Hey, if it. anyone in the comments wants to say uh, give your give your pick. Who do you who do you think's gonna be in it? It's not Street Fighter character, it's never been in Street Fighter. I I also kinda heard maybe not in a fighting game. Though I don't know about that. It's gonna be a red earth character. Who who cares about Red Earth? Bitch. So DLC uh, done right as it has been said with Street Fighter. People have Capcom. stated uh, with Capcom. Uh, people don't like how they do DLC. It's on the disc. Blah, blah blah blah. You still buy it, all that jazz. So, uh, with Street Fighter, I think they've done it pretty well. I mean, sure, the first batch of DLC was on the disc with the outfits, but those are just outfits. Though. Those those were outfits. So when people complain about outfits. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a big deal. It never has been to me. Just a cut. Is this a cosmetic part of the game? Doesn't I mean, it's cool. Anything. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to see a, a new thing you can use. But in the end, I, I just want to play the game. But when they start charging for fighters, I. I can't say I totally agree with that. And Capcom did it a little bit clever, I guess cleverly, with uh, with Arcade Edition. They're like, hey, uh, we got this new update coming out. The update's free, but you gotta pay for those characters. That's what you're paying. Well, you, you pay for a bulk of characters, though. You don't pay per character. So, $15, $14.99 for four new characters. That's not so bad. Well, look what Killer Instinct is doing, right? 
Look what the guys at Double Helix are doing. They're buy what you want. They're like you can you'll have Jago, you'll have him completely, but if you just want Glacius, you can just buy Glacius. Which I think sounds pretty cool. But can you like with that though, you can still fight the other characters though, right? Yeah, no, like, apparently. In the arcade like, mode. And, so. um, in That's arc a dumb question, but I guess. I think so, too. in arcade mode. I know you can go online. They're gonna let you go online from downloading like essentially just a demo. Which is actually pretty cool. Hey man, it's just but we're entering into that age when people are scared shitless of doing stuff like that. They think no one's going to buy the game, or going to buy any part of it, or anything. Kind of like how the first Lost Planet, the demo went online, and just people played that until they took it down. Yeah, it so, <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's a hard call. People want to complain about paying for stuff, but, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie here. Uh, Capcom usually puts out a pretty good product, their own development team.